What's good, yo? It's your boy, Coke Gutty, coming at y'all with another video. Last night was a Super Bowl, and it was a hell of a Super Bowl. It was a good one, I ain't gonna lie. I was at work, so I ain't get to watch uh, most of it, but I definitely caught the, uh, the last little 10 minutes. But this video is not really about the Super Bowl. It's about the fact that Brady is not the GOAT. He's not the GOAT, okay? Now, I'm not going to lie. At one point in time, you know, I said he was, but I've started thinking more into this shit, and I've came up with a whole new outlook on it all. I used to, like, put a lot of... Uh, you know, put a lot of points on rings. Rings was, you know, the number one thing that would make you the GOAT. But then I started thinking about it, and, you know, like, when it comes to Brady, like, Peyton Manning holds so many records in passing. Yes, Brady could pass him. He plays about two, three more years, he could pass him. Well, two years, really, but... Problem with that is, is Breeze is ahead of Brady. And Breeze is still playing, too. So, it's not even no fact that he'll get that. Because Drew Brees, Drew Brees got the stats. When it comes to throwing that ball, you can't sit here and tell me. Like, you can't tell me any quarterbacks that do it better than him. I mean, yeah, there's quarterbacks that are better than him. But you can't, you can't, you can't tell me nothing flawed about Drew Brees' game. Like, he racks up numbers every year, no matter what. His team could be trash, but Drew Brees going to have 5,000 yards in a goddamn season. But <clears throat> Brady now is 5 and 3. Okay, 5 and 3. Yes, he only has 5 rings. He has 5 rings which is more than any other quarterback. But this is a reason, this is a, my prime example on why the rings for Brady aren't enough because Terry Bradshaw is 4 and 0. Oh. Four rings, zero losses. But you don't hear no one ever saying Terry Bradshaw is a GOAT. Period. And there's a reason for that. It's because them rings don't mean shit if your stats aren't there with it. So basically it comes down to the stats because the ring is a team effort, yo. Like, Dan Marino is one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever do it. Regardless, you know, I ain't saying he's no GOAT. No, he... Because I feel like you got to have at least one ring. Like, you got to win a ring to be the GOAT. You got to have jewelry. But he's one of the greatest to ever play, though, but he don't have a ring. Terry Bradshaw's 4-0. Dan Marino has zero rings. And and everyone can pretty much agree that Marino is better than Terry Bradshaw, hands down. So Brady ain't the GOAT, man. And last night, last night was... That's why I'm making this video, because last night was a side factor, okay? Brady won five rings because in five Super Bowls, <clears throat> he led a fourth quarter game winning drive, which a fucking kicker always kicks the game winning field goal. But besides all that, last night, fourth quarter, chance for a game winning drive, Brady fumbles. I don't care nothing about what you want to talk about, pass rush or any of that, because that one fumble was the only sack Philly had all night long. One sack, forced a fumble, fumble recovery, game over. Brady lost the game hands down, period. You can say what you want about defense, but Brady lost the game hands down. He had the ball in his hands with a chance to go down and win the game, and he lost. Point blank, period. Brady lost the game. He's not the GOAT. My honest opinion, if you want to put so much emphasis on the rings to choose your GOAT, then you got to give it to Joe Montana. Four rings, zero L's, point blank. Even if Brady has five, I mean, four and O is better than five and three, if that's what you want to do. That's not what I'm doing. Honestly, I feel like Peyton Man is the GOAT. Brady's been in Bill Belichick's system his whole career. I feel like it's the system. Brady goes out for the whole season. They put in Matt Castle. Matt Castle ain't played football all throughout college. He ain't, he ain't played no football since high school when they put him in there. He was a backup his whole career at USC. And then they go 10-6 and, and barely miss the playoffs. It's the system. Brady's great, which is why in that system, 
with Brady, they have so much success. But it's the system nonetheless. And I'm not going to knock Brady because we haven't seen him outside of that system. So maybe maybe he can play outside of it. But one thing we know about Peyton Manning, we done seen him under different coaches, different teams, different systems. Eat, no matter what. Point blank, period. He's 2-2. Two and two. It's not a losing record. It's not a winning record. He's 2-2, two and two, though. And he's got the numbers to back it up. I put him up there. But if you want to put it on the rings, you got to give it to Montana. Brady's not the GOAT, man. Point blank. Brady's great, but he's not the greatest of all time. I'm out.